Time for the Bex Hybrids final thoughts from head coach John Gross. We rejoin you here from Mackey Arena in West Lafayette. Purdue with a win over Illinois tonight. Coach, we talked about the inside-outside prowess of uh, Purdue early. It was their outside shooting that they made some threes. Then in the second half, a lot of uh, Haas and Swanigan in there. It sure was. You know, obviously, uh, those two guys were players and did a great job of, of getting position. We knew that going into the game. I my concern was, you know, initially, and we were going to go on and off with it, I didn't like the fact that we gave up all those threes early. I thought the three-point shot is what got them out to a double-digit lead. And we got let them get loose in transition. And, um, you know, for me, I look at it, you know, obviously it's a 23-point deficit, and the difference in free throws makes and three-point shots made is 21. So as much as we can talk about Haas and, and Swanigan, and they're terrific, and Swanigan's gotten the double-double against everybody. Doesn't matter who they're playing, okay? You can't add insult to injury by getting drilled from the three-point line and allow them to get points at the free-throw line at the rate they did today. Now, part of it for us was that we shot the same attempts uh, but didn't make nearly as many. So we were outscored nine points at the line and 12 points on threes. You know, and, and if we go three for 17 from three and 11 for 22 from the line, regardless of how Haas and Swanigan play, we're in trouble, you know, especially on the road. We, we, we knew that. We were picking our poison. I think when you play them, you get in that dilemma where, okay, I'm going to try to take away the post and the threes. I've watched enough to know it's difficult. You almost have to decide and turn one faucet on and off during the course of the game. Right. We committed to the three-point line. We committed to playing hard without fouling, and that wasn't good enough. You know, obviously 21 points on threes and free throw differential on points scored in the game relative to what we scored. To me, that's the difference in the game. Now, obviously, you could debate. We doubled those guys a couple times. Should we have doubled them more? At the end of the day, they made some tough ones and then had some ones that I thought in the second half were too easy. First half, I thought we really made Swanigan earn baskets. He made a couple, but they were hard and physical around the rim. Second half, I did not think they, that their shots were as difficultly defended by us, even the, the two-point field goals, even though we were trying to take away threes and free throws. We needed to make it as hard as we did in the first half, and I just didn't feel like we did that in the second half. Uh, John, I thought the energy the first half, that first 10 minutes, uh, we missed some shots, but uh, it really was uh, we really matched their energy, and we were playing hard. I, I liked how we opened up. We did. We had great effort and energy. We didn't make shots, and we didn't defend the three-point line, and that was the gap. But I thought we were scrapping and battling. I didn't see as much of that in the second half as I needed to see, Doug. I was, uh, you know, we've got to be better there. Um, got to be much more committed to the defensive end right now than what we are. Uh, the disappointing thing for us is we just defended two really good offensive teams last week at home. Uh, and now they were different teams. They were predominantly guard play teams, but uh, we defended them really well. One led to a win, and the other one, if we'd have played offense at all well, we'd have won as well. And uh, today we just didn't have the same bite for 40 minutes that we saw in the two home games defensively. It's got to be better. We were talking during the game about how Morgan was battling toe-to-toe -to -toe with Swanigan, especially in the first half. But, I mean, uh, that was that was heating up pretty quick in there. It so. was. I thought Mav really battled and – I agree with Doug. I thought our energy level in the first half, even though we were behind, was better than it was in the second half. And I thought our physicality, the effort we played with was really good. We didn't have as much of that in the second half as we need to see. It needs to be a lot more consistent. You can't play the score. can't do that. you got to play the same way. I told him the court's 94 by 50 here, just like it is in Champaign. It's just, and I, I just thought our effort level, our consistency with it, the energy – that you felt from our team was better in the first half than it was in the second. Uh, you know, we talk about defense. I like to describe defense as making the, the, the other team uncomfortable running their sets. What are some of the things that we can do maybe a little bit better out there? We did in the first half, and right. you alluded to that. We pushed them out, pushed their yep. catches out, had good ball pressure. Second half, we've got to be committed to that and do that for another 20 minutes, and it, it takes a lot of energy. We knew we were going to play a lot of guys. You know, Malcolm was the one guy that played 31 minutes. No one else played above that. We should be able to get that done with as many guys as we have, uh, you know, on, on the bench, coming off the bench, being ready to play, apl pl applying that uh, defensive presence on the basketball, toughness on catches, 
you know, I, I thought we were better with that in the first half. It's got to be the same in the second half. We'll wrap it up with this, but uh, three turnovers on the road normally, yeah, that's I mean, a pretty good omen. I mean, you, we, we just right now we, we, we talked about this. Someone said, what do you need to do to get – got a consistency. Michigan's about as good as we play both ends. Maryland, great defense, bad offense in my opinion, okay? Indiana on the road, good offense, bad defense. Today, good energy, good effort, locked in early, made some mistakes first half. Need to have that in the second half. You know, today we didn't have either one going for us. From a shot-making perspective, especially on offense, free throws and our three-point shooting were poor. You know, and the differential in those two areas I thought were, were significant.